Hi, today we're going to talk about link and trace capabilities of the Polarian integration for Windchill. We provide the ability to create links between Polarian and Windchill elements. We can expose and leverage traceability directly from both systems. We also provide an embedded preview to access the attributes of the remote element from both systems. And then we will demonstrate the tracking feature and how easy it is to navigate between both systems. Okay, in Polarian, let's open a live document. You'll notice that we have various individual requirements contained within this live document. Let's use this one here. Okay, this is an individual requirement in Polarian. It has its own attributes here, status, and description. We can also see the native links to other Polarian elements. And for demonstration purposes here, we have test cases which verify the requirement. So let's link that to an existing part which is stored in Windchill. And we'll use this part in my bomb. Now, in order to create a link from Polarian, we scroll to the link work items section here. This section allows you to create links within Polarian and also create remote links to, in our case, elements in Windchill. So let's do this. First, we need to select a windchill product. And since we're accessing windchill data, we need to provide a windchill login information. So let me just enter that here and the password and sign in. OK, now this is the selection dialog where we can make searches from Polarian in the windchill database. Since we're interested in parts here, we'll select that, and I know it's called safety, so I'll enter that really quick, and two revisions have found. Let's choose B. Okay, save the modifications. Now you can see here that we have created the new link. This is the windchill preview, which is available from Polarian. So here we can see attributes of the part residing in windchill, we can see its state and uh, part specific attributes like part source and so on. This link allows us to easily navigate to our target element in Windchill. We need to click here and that opens the target element in Windchill. Now in Windchill there's this backlink and this is a link from Windchill to Polarian pointing to our requirement in Polarian. We can also display the Polarian preview. Okay, let me log in and authorize that connection here. Okay, so do that, click on it, and now we can see the Polarian preview directly from Windchill. And again, we can see the same thing, the attributes, descriptions, links, and here's the remote link to Windchill and the native links to our test cases in Polarian. Every modification done by the integration is tracked in the History tab. We can see these modifications here. Notice we can select the iteration from the selection dialog, and B9 here has been created automatically by the integration. And of course, the same thing applies on the Polarian side. We can see that from the history at the top. We can look in the link data here and find a new link to my windshield part has been added. So all modifications are fully tracked. One more thing I wanted to show you is a remote links table in Windchill. You can use this to link multiple requirements, for instance, to the part residing in Windchill, like we did earlier. The same behavior exists from Polarian as well, where you can also create multiple links from a given element. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other Polarian integration videos.